on site again here at Kingfisher. Let's go, check it out. Arian's with me today. You can see Brian's lintel beams now. And all the scaffolding will be moving over to my side so we can do my beams. We pretty much finalized the quote for the roofing materials. We just need to pay them now. So a lot of Brian scaffolding has been moved to my side. Now they're preparing the slab on Brian's house. You can see the Rio there. Now let's go over to mine because I want to see the slab and what it looks like because I think we can get in there today. Working on Brian's. It's come across. Not sure I want to walk on this yet, but uh, I think it's all right. Let's just give it a try. Yeah, it seems all right. There we go. So this is what the floor looks like. The floor has been poured. Looks like all the rooms have been done. So this is the first time I'm seeing it. Looking good, looking good. Definitely has been a bit of rain though. You can see that block work looking a bit wet. So we've had rain on and off. It's not that bad, but we have had rain. And we're getting very close now. Wow, and now being able to stand on the slab. Oh, look at that, there's a boat passing. Yay. Look at that, that is exciting, that is exciting. So now you really see, you know, standing on the slab, you really see what it's gonna look like. And, you know, from every window, you get a view. It's absolutely gorgeous, it's gonna be amazing. You know, living here, I just, oh, I just walked in and saw that. Previously, you know, when we didn't have the slab, it was a bit lower. It was probably a foot or two lower standing here and you didn't really see that view. And now I'm just so happy that I decided to spend the extra money, add the fill and be elevated because being elevated, you get that whole view. That view is just unreal. Awesome, awesome. This is a very special property. It's gonna be amazing. See the scaffolding going in here? And you can see the beams. So they're prepping all the scaffolding, the bamboo scaffolding and the beams, all the formwork up top. So we can pour the beams and get moving. So getting close now, getting very close. Man, that view. Check that out, that is unreal. Whew. What do you think, babe? It looks amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, Arian hasn't been on site for how many weeks now? More than a month. More than a month. <laughs> so she's been busy with the baby, so she's been eager to come out and check it out. It was just magic just seeing that bunker boat drive past us there. <laughs> awesome. Actually, you've got a big ship out to sea. You've got a big shipping container ship just there. Wow, I'm never going to get bored of this view. Like, seriously, look at this view.
Awesome, just awesome. And just imagine when we finally get those custom shutters and we have the shutters around here. So when it gets too hot, we can have the louvered shutters and sit in this area and make this room kind of like a sunroom. Then we've got the master bedroom. So the master is now poured. Let's start in here. And this is going to be the walk-in robe for all of Ariane's shoes <laughs> and handbags. Don't know where my clothes are gonna go. That bay window is going to be absolutely amazing. Unreal. Actually, it's rare that we get people on the beach in front of us, but it looks like there's a vendor just walking past us here. He's looking for tourists. Now, uh, this is the master bathroom, all poured. Wow, it's looking so good. Makes a big difference after the slab's been laid. Huge difference. It's all downhill from here. check the bedrooms and the study so this is my office that's what it looks like a little bit hard to see but this is going to be the view from my office from the study so this is where I'm going to be spending most of my time and every morning, let me tell you, I'm going to be out in that. So it's going to be my morning routine. Get fit, get healthy, eat well, go swimming every day, every morning. When the water's nice and glass, it's just nice and flat. Here we go. So this is the... I thought this is Pete's room, or is the next room Pete's room? Next room, Pete's room. So this is going to be the guest bedroom, Arian's saying. So this is the guest bedroom. And then the next room is going to be little Pete's room. So he's in front of Ruby's room. Yeah, we saw Ruby's room, so that's the maid's room in there. That's why I put him here. Yep, and little Pete's going to be right next to Ruby. G'day, Bands. How you doing? You quit smoking? Pardon? You quit smoking? Yeah. You're staying off it? No, it's only I uh, stopped already. Good. Well done, mate. Well done. It's only drinking a lot. It's only red horse. Just red horse? Yeah. All right. Well, I'll have to have a red horse with you sometime, mate. So this is little Pete's room. Actually, the bathroom looks a bit bigger in little Pete's room. Is it just me or it just feels a bit bigger? I think it's the same. I think there's more. Probably is. It's just Bible me. On the other side, it's Ruby yes, gets Ruby gets a beautiful mountain view. I've been saying that <laughs> before in previous videos. So yeah, it looks good. So let's pop over, have a quick look at Brian's house, which is next door. Also, he's got the room opposite. I think that's gonna be kind of like a, a bar room where he's gonna have a little bar up against that window, he's decided. And then that actually gets a nice view to the ocean also. All right, let's go across now to Brian's. Not much has really happened in the garage just yet. Just the scaffolding here has gone up and they have poured the lintel beams. That's about it. I think that was probably a week ago now. 
so we'll leave this to last. So on Brian's, they're just preparing for the slab. Actually, it looks like they have poured a few of the rooms. Look at this, yes. So here's one room poured. And here is another room. And this is the room I was saying is probably going to be Brian's bar room. Because it does get a lovely outlook over the ocean there. And actually, you know, looking at it when it's being constructed, the room look a lot smaller now. Looking at it, it's actually quite a sizable room. So it should be a nice little, you know, bar room. Like a little man cave for Brian. That'll be fun. And they're keeping this up for a while, the bamboo scaffolding just for the beams they'll leave that up i think another week or so and then move it across to mine so we can use the same you know beams but anyway the main room isn't poured but you know here we go most of brian's rooms have now been poured how's that how is that look at that so you know most of his rooms have now been poured and he's got the lintel beams up. So the beams are up. He's really rocking and rolling. And now it looks like they're preparing this room here. Oh, no, they're moving. So they're pouring that slab now as we speak. So this is what it looks like. So yeah, it won't be long. And Brian's slab will be down. Actually, Brian does get a bit of a view here. You can see now that it's built up from the main room, so the living area, he does get a view of the ocean from there and also his bar room. So yes, he does get some ocean views, which is nice. I'm happy for him. So I'm really happy actually, really pleased with the build, very, very happy. And we're on track to get this done on time. And we're planning to be living here by early, you know, the first or second week of October. So that's the plan. I'm really, really looking forward to it. It's looking really good. I'm excited. Yeah, we've been pretty lucky with the rain actually yes it has been raining but you know it hasn't been crazy weather it hasn't been super heavy downfall it's been like light showers and they've still been able to work you know in the light showers which is great really good for us you know it's gonna take a month to actually make up the roof because we wanted this special thermo roofing so realistically the earliest we could hope for is about four to five weeks and we will have the roof on and completed but like just to be safe let's say six weeks because there could be holdups in shipping and this sort of thing but yeah look we're definitely moving we're cooking with gas now i'm really excited because we're on track and like i said that we should be in living here by october Iron looks like a movie star. <laughs> uh, well, you're going to feel like a movie star living here, honey. That's for sure. Fit for a king. And yes, you can live like a king in Asia. Yep. That champagne lifestyle on a beer budget. You can still live like a king here in the Philippines on a beer budget. <laughs> 
She wants to take it home. She wants the bamboo because she wants to do a bamboo fence in SBMA in Subic at the house there. So we keep having the dogs escape and Quarky ran off to Grouper Street the other day. It's looking good. You excited to move in here, honey? Very excited. Very excited. I think we're going to be much happier here and we're going to be happy here for a very long time. So this is actually a separate room. This has a separate entry away from the house when I want to escape to the master bedroom. Thanks for watching. This has been Pete and Arya from the Property Club. Double thumbs up and bye for now. Bye bye. Until next time. <laughs>